Good morning, Moreau Hall Hawks. Today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and face the flag. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bucket Fillers Pledge. One, two, three. I promise to do my best every day to be a bucket filler, not to dip and to use my lid for myself and others at home, at school, and everywhere I go. Hawks, a couple of interesting things going on today on May 27th. Uh, today is indeed National Sunscreen Day with the summer fast approaching. Uh, it's a good idea when you're going outside, especially on a day like today. I know yesterday was nice. Today is going to be nice. I think tomorrow is going to be nice and sunny as well. You want to make sure you're protecting your skin. The sun is awesome. Get outside and get some vitamin D from the sun. But the sun also has some harmful rays like UV rays. So you want to make sure you're protecting yourself. They say an SPF, a skin protection factor of 15 or higher is a good one. Doctors all agree with that. I know uh, my dad goes with like an SPF 3000, I think it is. Uh, he's got that Irish skin he needs to protect from the sun. Today is also National Grape Popsicle Day. And as I was reading up on National Grape Popsicle Day, I found out that it was actually, again, invented by accident, similar to Coca-Cola that time. Uh, a young man in 1905 in San Francisco, Frank Epperson, was mixing some white powdery substance uh, to make a soda drink on his front porch. He was about 11 years old at the time, and he went inside and forgot about it. And the temperatures that night dropped below freezing, and in the morning he came out, and guess what he found? His stirring stick in his drink, and the grape drink was frozen, and the popsicle was born. It was actually called the Epsicle to begin. Uh, later on, Frank introduced it at a fireman's ball where it was a big hit, and then he actually patented it in about 1924 and sold it at county fairs and amusement parks and things like that. Uh, and I'll tell you what, today, if the sun is shining and it's warm outside and you're wearing your sunscreen, hopefully you've got a great popsicle handy. And if grape's not your favorite flavor, that's okay. Mr. Higgins is a big fan of root beer himself uh, and orange as well. I'll go with a grape once in a while. Uh, and make sure to share those popsicles with friends and family if you can. Hawks, hope you're having a wonderful day. Get those learning plans going. I love you. I miss you. And we'll see you back here tomorrow for some new announcements. All right, Hawks. See you later.